Welcome back, Hot Guys. We're here on location to check out the brand new Stanley Museum of Art. We're going to take a look at all the beautiful works inside and hear from an academic outreach coordinator. Let's check it out. The Stanley Museum of Art is located on the east side of campus in between the Campus Recreation and Wellness Center and the main library. The over 16,000 works of art in the collection here are on display for the first time since 2008 following the flood. Let's check it out. My name is Catherine. I work as the Academic Outreach Coordinator for the Stanley Museum of Art, and that means I schedule and lead instruction for different classes on campus. I think the museum opening really does feel like a homecoming, homecoming for many people who grew up in Iowa City. Over opening weekend, we had a lot of folks come in and tell their stories about how they grew up visiting the old museum of art, and so visiting the new one is just a really special moment for them. Um, and for folks like me who haven't lived in Iowa City for very long, it's just a fresh rejuvenation on the art scene, you know, another reason to be proud to live in Iowa City because the city has so much arts and culture and literature going on every day. So we're standing in front of one of the largest paintings in the collection. Um, it's not the largest, but here is Red April by Sam William. It's quite a famous work of art, one in a series of four he painted in response to the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. A lot of energy and emotion, I think you can read into this piece. The title of the inaugural exhibit here is Homecoming. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Sure, so Homecoming represents a blend of, you know, icons of the University of Iowa art collection, along with some new acquisitions that we uh, purchased throughout the, or don't have received as donations um, throughout the past 14 years that we didn't have a building for these items to live in. So really happy to see the return of a lot of these objects to Iowa City. And the show features many alums from the School of Art and Art History, as well as some folks who have taught at the University of Iowa. So in that way, there's so many Iowa connections. It feels like every gallery probably has some, in some way a connection to, to the University of Iowa. So we're standing in front of a print by Elizabeth Catlett, who was one of the first people to, one of the first three students ever to earn a master's in fine arts in the whole of the United States. That degree was granted by the University of Iowa in 1940. Really remarkable because she was a black American woman and the art world has historically been very exclusionary to artists of color and to female artists. And Elizabeth Catlett is the namesake of our Catlett resident. Yeah, and in addition, um, this print is hanging next to a piece by Grant Wood, and um, Elizabeth Catlett was Grant Wood's student during her time here at the University of Iowa. And now we're standing in front, or in a gallery that features a wall of Abeji twin figures. This is an example of um, historic African art. The Stanley has a really large collection of African art in our collection, um, but we still continue to collect contemporary African art. And this is an example of one of those pieces. It's a recent acquisition um, by the artist Wengeji Muchu, who's someone I really admire and I quite enjoy that this piece is in conversation with some historic objects. Another f feature of the Stanley Museum's homecoming installation that we're quite proud of is the bilingual wall labels. So we have wall labels and text, gallery text in English and also in Spanish. This is, makes the museum much more accessible to visitors from all across Iowa and the United States. Making a notable appearance is Jackson Pollock's massive piece titled Mural. Painted in 1943 and first arriving in Iowa in 1951, it is toured all around the U.S. and Europe before coming home to Iowa City. What a great look at the Stanley Museum of Art. If people want to check it out, what can they do? The Stanley is always free and open to everyone. Please check our website for hours, and we hope to see you here very soon. Awesome. This is just one of the many reasons that every day is a great day to be a Hawkeye.